Welcome back to Studio 10. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. We are here in downtown Mobile live and it's not the prettiest day, but hey, we are having a good time. Earlier, we were asking for some bees because we didn't have any and look. Thank you to everybody who brought us beads. We are decked out now. And speaking of beads, I have Charles Parmenter joining me from Old Mobile Antiques Gallery. And you have some beads. These guys are a little bit different. Yeah, these are some from my own collection. These are Czechoslovakian Mardi Gras beads from about 1900. So these are about 100 wow. years old. These a little later, uh, probably 1920s glass beads. People always ask, you know, what did they throw from the floats? Well, we love the beads, and they have thrown those for well over 100 years. I think it's great that um, everyone collects something, and um, I was going to walk over here and bring some doubloons, but they weigh like three or 400 pounds, so I thought I'd come with some beads. And uh, yeah. so these are part of my own collection and just part of the little history of Mardi Gras. These were thrown here in Mobile many years ago. So. Those are great. So you think if I hold on to these for 100 years, do you think they'll be worth a lot of money? I think so, and I brought these especially for you today anyway out of my own collection. Oh, nice. of, these are glass Mardi Gras Ooh. beads. So. Thank you. So. I am decked out. <laughs> Look at this. So, And you have a lot of great things just like this. To Mardi Gras all occasions at Old Mobile Antiques Gallery. We sure do. All right, so you have to check them out. Now, we were talking about the beads. Of course, you get the beads from the floats. And Mardi Gras has changed so much through the years, as Charles and I were just talking about. I mean, everything from the beads to the float. So we want to give you a little look, Mardi Gras then and now. Here it is. Looking back at all those old pictures, it's interesting to see just how much Mardi Gras has changed through the years, seeing those yes. old floats and then looking at these. What a difference. It's a big difference. Back then, what were the floats made out of? In, say, maybe the 30s or 40s, it would have been a wooden frame. There was a little bit more canvas. You staple it on and size it, it shrinks tight. Nowadays, with chicken wire or, or some kind of foam and all, you can, the chicken wire will hold its, um, it shapes some, um, even with foam, I've seen them use like the electric knife like you'd cut your turkey with it. Yeah. it well, you know, you get a big block of foam and you sort of carve it, you can make it more realistic looking. The artwork that we see, Krispy Kreme, Bay Fest, some of these things they didn't have back then. What do they tend to model their art around? Things were sort of mystical and they may not have done as much detail. Nowadays, there's a lot more three-dimensional. Materials have changed so sure. um, there's a lot more available, uh, even brighter paints. In the old days, there was a lot of mechanicals, but they had people that would ride inside the floats mm -hmm. and let uh, move things. You know, it's got a couple weights for counterweights. And then during the parade, it would go up and down where uh, it just was going to be almost impossible to get an electric motor to do this. Where there's another float in the warehouse, the ferry, or tooth ferry to be exact, kind of wiggles some. There's an electric motor in there, so all during the parade, it was uh, operated motor powered. And as you can see in these pictures, the costumes have even changed through the years. And so many more mystic societies these there days. Are, there's almost as many women's societies now as there are men's societies. Of course, there are some very obvious changes. You know, back then, way beginning Mardi Gras, no electricity, so right. no lights. And now, there are beautiful lights. There are. Back and somewhere in the late 1800s, they had a, somebody came up with a thing called a flambeau. If you think it almost like a gas light, just an open flame, and they would carry those alongside the floats to, to light those up, and then for bands and other things. And um, Mobile's uh, about the only place left, I think, that has a couple of flambeaux as WOM sort of as tradition. And then also, as time went on, they used to use flares with those. Then somebody came up with. Uh, using obviously lights mm -hmm. and uh, they started with most of them a 32 watt light bulb. Each float had six six volt batteries at the beginning of the parade the lights would be real bright and as you got toward the end of the parade obviously if the batteries were dying the lights started yeah. started dimming and then in the 50s or somewhere in there they started with generators then you could go to regular light bulb nowadays there's LED there's fluorescent so if you've got the money you can do most anything you want a lot of things have changed through the years but the one thing that hasn't people love Mardi Gras 
Yes, we do, especially here in Mobile. And look, more beads. Hopefully, we'll see you down here very soon. Studio 10 will be right back.